Thank you very much for viewing this video. In this presentation from Big D Soul, we will be explaining what is big data about the market and it needs for big data who are industry players, what kind of job opportunities exists, Hadoop and its various components, and finally explain little about Microsoft HD Insight. In the presentation one small example of using Hive is also shown, just to make you comfortable that it's not very difficult to master Hadoop in short span of time. What is Big Data? Big Data is around 10 year old subject, where we deal with massive amount of data. In 2001 research report, Gartner first defined 3B model, the three essential characteristics of big data. They are, volume, verity and velocity. In big data volume are usually petabytes of size. Data would be in multiple verity or formats like images, videos, unstructured text messages, geolocation tags, and velocity mean the speed of data moving in and out of any system. It's about getting real-time information. This is different than static data environments, characterized by data warehouses that store information that can tell you about recent or longer-term history and trending, but not about real-time events. In other words, most companies have yet to fully venture into the high-velocity dimension of big data. Sometimes fourth B is added in the basic definition of big data, which is value or veracity. How fast we can add value to business. Our day-to-day -day activity like phone calls, SMS, credit card transactions, watching TV through setup box, GPS usage, social media interaction, web search, giving online recommendations and list goes on, accumulatively generating phenomenal data. Some examples of big data are, according to Cisco, global internet traffic would be 4.8 zettabytes by 2015. The famous European LHC experiment to find God particle, is generating 25 petabyte of data every year. LinkedIn is creating 100 billion personalized recommendation every week. The volume is really adding up fast, than we could imagine, just to illustrate US retailer Walmart's data warehouse in 1999 was around 100 terabyte size, by 2009 US economy had at least an average of 200 terabytes of stored data, per company with more than 1000 employees. Industry need for the big data. So far most businesses are using their own limited operational data to improve operational efficiencies, conducting explicit surveys to gather product and survey feedback, spending money on TV and online advertisement. In last six years world has changed, now for feedback we have social media which we need to listen and conclude the consumer behavior and attitude, business needs to understand market influencers to recommend their product and services, business needs to find exact customers and send personalized SMS when they are around their selling facilities. We have vast amount of data available in social media like Facebook, Twitter, tons of blogs and finally business can write crawling programs to pull information from internet. Use big data platform to filter data and improve your products and services. Big data offers massive parallel processing platform, scalability and also it's relatively very cheap than the conventional high-end computing servers. This makes us harnessing the data and converting them to some actionable information. Let us look at some common industry problems, which can be solved with the framework of Hadoop. Modeling true risk, banks can analyze data about spending habits, their credit, repayments before lending money. Customer churn analysis, why customers of mobile phone and satellite TV are switching service providers. Recommendation engines, when customer is trying to buy products like books, based on others selection and users past behavior, you can recommend. Ad targeting. Similar to the recommendation engine, 
but with the added dimension of the advertiser paying a premium for better ad space. Threat Analysis and Fraud Detection Some well-recognized big data projects Yahoo processes 2 petabytes of data every day, and consolidate and load Microsoft Analytical Services Cube, the cube size is around 20 terabyte per quarter. Google is pioneer in developing and delivering multiple projects using Hadoop. Big online companies like Amazon and LinkedIn uses it to generate billions of recommendations. Many big companies are doing big data projects to capture user feedback on social media. Some unconventional usage of big data mining. If you are not a big fan of commercial usage, and more into research or social reform, then also knowing and learning big data makes sense. Big data opportunity is for every possible field. Watch Horizon, Age of Big Data BBC documentary to learn some unconventional new ways of how big data can be used. One of the example captured in BBC documentary is University of California and LAPD exploring 13 million crime records in last 80 years and determining crime hotspots for patrolling. This approach has led to 30% reduction in burglary and drug-related crimes. How big is opportunity? According to recent McKinsey research conducted in five domains healthcare in the United States, the public sector in Europe, retail in the United States, and manufacturing and personal location data globally. Big data can generate value in each. For example, a retailer using big data to the full, could increase its operating margin by more than 60%. Harnessing big data in the public sector has enormous potential too. If U.S. healthcare were to use big data creatively and effectively to drive efficiency and quality, the sector could create more than $300 billion in value every year. Two-thirds of that would be in the form of reducing U.S. healthcare expenditure by about 8%. In the developed economies of Europe, government administrators could save more than USD $150 billion in operational efficiency improvements alone, by using big data. And users of services enabled by personal location data could capture $600 billion in consumer surplus. Is it for me? Definitely big data has something to offer to everyone. If you are a fresh college pass out looking for where to start or a seasoned IT professional looking for career growth learning it will benefit you. It's IT industry buzzword, and it's not a bubble. Big data is here and will thrive and create huge job opportunity in next 15 years. If we look at the job market, Search in Indeed.com for big data keyword return 10,000 plus jobs post. As per McKinsey report of 200,000 people requirement, there will be a shortage of talent necessary for organizations to take advantage of big data. By 2018, the United States alone could face a shortage of 140,000 to 190,000 people with deep analytical skills as well as 1.5 million managers and analysts with the know-how to use the analysis of big data to make effective decisions. Let us understand Hadoop and how it can solve big data problem we observed in previous section. Hadoop provides the platform and capability to process big data and filter out meaningful information and actionable items. Hadoop was created by Doug Cutting and Mike Caffarella in 2005. Doug, who was working at Yahoo at the time, named it after his son's toy elephant. It was originally developed to support distribution for the Nudge search engine project. Let us familiarize ourselves with brief history of Hadoop. When the seeds of Hadoop were first planted in 2002, the world just wanted a better open source search engine. So then Internet Archive search director Doug Cutting and University of Washington graduate student Mike Caffarella set out to build it. They called their project Nudge and it was designed with that era's web in mind. Google released the Google File System paper in October 2003 and the MapReduce paper in December 2004. 
the latter would prove especially revelatory to the two engineers building Nudge. In 2005, Cutting went to work with Yahoo and worked further on Hadoop key components, HDFS and MapReduce. In 2008, Yahoo started using Hadoop to power analytics for various production applications. In 2011, Yahoo's Hadoop infrastructure consisted of 42,000 nodes and hundreds of petabytes of storage. Yahoo spun out Horton Works into a separate, Hadoop-focused software company in 2011. In December 2011, official Hadoop, version 1.0 release by Apache. In year 2013, Hortonworks and Microsoft release 100% Hadoop compliant product, named as HD Insight. Let us look at very high level Hadoop and advantage offered to business. Hadoop has two key components, one is file system to store the data, and another component is for computation known as MapReduce. Both of these components are very different than the industry prevalent standards. The default block size is 64 megabyte, which is huge, in comparison to Windows operating system size of 32 kilobytes. MapReduce is a paradigm shift, rather bringing data and then perform computation, computation goes to data and send the results. This brings fast performance. Hadoop is 100% Java code, but streaming can be done, using other languages. Hadoop is designed to meet the 3 Vs of big data. It is scalable, fault tolerant and much cheaper because it can run on commodity hardware rather requiring high-end servers. Hadoop can store any kind of data, like voice, videos and unstructured text. It's great for processing the complex data, most of the programs can achieve very high performance ETLs jobs because of parallel processing. Business loves it, as it's on open source, need not to bear costly license fee. A small Hadoop project can be achieved in very small amount of budget. Here are some of the common Hadoop use case, where Hadoop can help. Hadoop can be used for data processing, as well as advanced analytics. Some use cases for Hadoop are fraud analysis in financial industry, Genome mapping in biotech industry. Big data landscape. Almost all leading infrastructure, database management, by and analytical products companies started integrating their products and services to underlying foundation technology, which is Hadoop. Cloudera has many implementation for Hadoop. Microsoft HD Insight has come up with core strength of Microsoft, which is simplicity. Microsoft is spending heavily in R&D for building Hadoop on clouds, so that whole solution can be offered as service to end users. Zetaset is another player offering easy Hadoop manageability. Let us have little direction check. In the presentation, we have covered so far. What is big data and job opportunities? What is Hadoop and how can it help in solving the big data problem and transforming big data to meaningful information to business? In the next section, we will be covering Dig deeper into Hadoop Explore ecosystem of Hadoop Before we start looking more into Hadoop and its various ecosystem components, let us have a small quiz to ensure we are completely focused on learning. First question what are three Vs of big data? Answer is volume, verity and velocity. Try second question how the name Hadoop originated. Answer is easy Hadoop is named after Doug Cutting's son's toy elephant. Next question is when did Apache Hadoop V1.0 release? Right answer is in December, 2011 Apache Hadoop version 1.0 released. Let us try one more question before starting next section, what does Hadoop offers to benefit from big data opportunity? And the answer is Hadoop has many things to offer, 
most important are scale of economy, ability to use commodity hardware, and performance due to MapReduce, where computation goes data and generate the results. I hope you have done a good job in answering the quiz, thanks for trying. Let us move to next section. Here is Hadoop ecosystem presented in a layered view. The data storage is primarily done at HDFS which is, very suitable for write once and read multiple times. There are other option like HBase, which runs on top of HDFS is available which are more suitable for real-time read and write access to big data. MapReduce is common for processing the HDFS data. Then we have several options for data access like Hive and PIG. For management and administration we have Zookeeper, Chiquat, Flume. We have native and ODBC drivers to connect to Hadoop ecosystem and pull data for data warehouse and business intelligence reporting purpose. Few fact to remember about HDFS. Distributed file system designed to run on low cost commodity hardware. Designed more for batch processing rather than interactive use by users. HDFS has simple coherency model, write once read many access model for files. A file once created, written, and closed need not to be changed. This assumption simplifies data coherency issues and enables high throughput data access. Applications that run on HDFS need streaming access to their data sets. Supports huge data volume, data divided into default 64 megabyte blocks, usual industry practice is to use 128 megabyte block size. Highly fault tolerant, each block replicated three times. Let us explore a little more on HDFS. The HDFS evolved out of white papers published from Google. Live Google file system, GFS, became basis for HDFS. MapReduce is implemented as MapReduce, Bigtable is implemented as HBase, which is a columnar table. Google only published white papers, the open source community implemented them. Let us try to understand the HDFS architecture. HDFS has master and slave architecture. Client first interacts with master, which has named node and secondary node. Named node is master here, who remembers where the data nodes are. The secondary node is merely a utility to transfer the in-memory data to persistent location. Another important component of master node is job tracker. Job tracker oversees and coordinates the parallel processing of data using MapReduce. Slave nodes make up the vast majority of machines and do all the dirty work of storing the data and running the computations. Each slave runs both a data node and task tracker daemon that communicate with and receive instructions from their master nodes. The task tracker daemon is a slave to the job tracker, the data node daemon a slave to the name node. Let us look at HDFS write. When file comes for loading, client divides into multiple of blocks based on block size settings. In this example file is divided into block A and block B. Now client consult to named node, for writing to data nodes in cluster. The named node, is rack aware, it exactly knows which data node exists in which rack. Also it will maintain metadata information, in this example how the sample text data will be stored, will be maintained in named node. After getting the data node information from named node, client signals corresponding data node to get ready for incoming data. First node communicates to second and second, to third. And the final node sends OK signal back to client. Same block data is written three times, to maintain redundancy, which is required for fault tolerance. Also look closely, algorithms are written intelligently, so that the first data block will be on separate rack, while the second and third data block will be on same rack. 
This will help in faster response time. Same process is repeated for writing the block B. Hadoop and all its ecosystem are command line interface, also called SCLI in short form. There is very little GUI orientation. This is how a command line looks like, where we can fire set of commands to load file, manage directories and so on. Command has three parts, one is command like FS, generic options like configuration, and finally command option like list. Relatively very few HDFS related UI exists, one of them are checking the name node related information. You can see in the configuration we have only one data node now. Also you can see luster summary, disk storage usage. As per Google research paper on MapReduce, published in 2004. MapReduce is a programming model and an associated implementation for processing and generating large data sets. Users specify a map function that processes a key and value pair to generate a set of intermediate key and value pairs, and a reduce function that merges all intermediate values associated with the same intermediate key. In this computation model two key functions are map and reduce. Consider the problem of counting the number of occurrences of each word in a large collection of documents. One simple word count program as explained in white paper, where map function would take document name as a key, and document content would be value. This further can be mapped to set of similar words to form an intermediate set, and finally reduce program would generate the results. Let us look at logical steps performed to get the count of car names from input data node. First the data is split, into multiple data chunk, then the mapping function prepares the list of key and value pair. Then shuffling and sorting happens. Now this input is ready for reduce function. Reduce will do the grouping and prepares the final results. Another simple example of work count, explaining twinkle twinkle rhyme word count. You can observe how may and reduce work in harmony to produce the results. Let us start exploring Hadoop ecosystem components at a very high level. Hive is important part of Hadoop ecosystem, which provides interface to query data with normal SQL commands. We can do most of the day-to-day -day DML and DDL operations using HiveQL. At the same time this language also allows traditional map slash reduce programmers to plug in their custom mappers and reducers when it is inconvenient or inefficient to express this logic in HiveQL. Hive is a data warehouse system for Hadoop. Facilitates easy data summarization, ad hoc queries, and the analysis of large data sets stored in Hadoop compatible file systems. Handles the structured data. Abstracts complexity of Hadoop, no need to learn Java and Hadoop APIs. Developed by Facebook and contributed to community. Facebook analyzes several terabytes of data every day using Hive, countable for 95% plus of Hadoop jobs at Facebook. Used by 200 engineers and business analysts at Facebook every month. Here is summary of key Hive features. Hive is a data warehouse infrastructure built on top of Hadoop. It provides tools to enable easy data ETL. Hive defines a simple SQL-like query language, called HiveQL. Allows to plug in their custom mappers and reducers to perform more sophisticated analysis. This is how Hive command prompt looks. We are trying to use the database named MS, and then select count star of table log, then bunch of map reduce jobs are invoked to search and aggregate the data. Finally resulting the answer as 1387. PIG is another Hadoop ecosystem component, 
it play an important role in analyzing the unstructured data developed by Yahoo for their internal use and later contributed to community and made open source data flow language not procedural language provides common operations like join group sort etc can use existing user code or libraries for complex non-regular algorithms operates on files in HDFS some advantage of pig are common functionality like join filter group by is provided analytical insight through sampling it has data type bag which can represent semi structured or unstructured data as represented in below sample tuple can have defined list of data and bag can have different kind of tuples which can vary in structure let us look at few basic pig commands and syntax to make ourselves little more familiar different data types are available like character array integer and float they can be referenced by position notion starting with zero or assigning a named variable and using that variable later in programs here is how a load file commands look like we can join two table to do the calculations for example group data on age let us have little idea on NoSQL database available in Hadoop ecosystem. HBase and Cassandra are available in these categories. HBase and Cassandra both can exist as a standalone application and need not to use the HDFS. Few facts about the HBase. Apache HBase is the Hadoop database, a distributed, scalable, big data store. Base is considered in NoSQL category. Designed for random, real-time read slash write access to your big data. Implementation of Google's big table concept. Capable of handling billions of rows. Base does not need to use HDFS, it uses local file system instead. If short circuit read is configured, it will avoid going through the data node. Few facts about the Cassandra. Standalone database system initially coded by Facebook. Cassandra is a completely symmetric system, there are no master nodes or region servers like in HBase. Every node plays a completely equal role in the system. Sounds confusing, when to use where. The usage depends on use case, but at a very high level. HBase provides developer with row locking facilities whereas Cassandra cannot. HBase being more suitable for data warehousing and large scale data processing and analysis, for example indexing the web, and Cassandra being more suitable for real time transaction processing and the serving of interactive data. There are times when we feel strong need to use the RDBMS and sometimes the scalability and fast processing power of Hadoop. We have tool for data transfer in both of these situations. Apache Scoop is a tool designed for efficiently transferring bulk data between Apache Hadoop and structured data stores such as relational databases. Allows easy import and export of data from structured data sources like RDBMS and NoSQL database. Scoop connectors are available for almost all major databases. Provides integration with other Hadoop ecosystem components like Hive, HBase, Uzi. When we fire the Scoop command, internally Java program is submitted to MapReduce for execution. Scoop can import data to HDFS from RDBMS and vice versa. In Scoop 1 architecture, has one client side installation. Also it does not use reduced jobs. In Scoop 2 architecture, it overcome the shortcomings of one. Here we have Scoop server, which can support MapReduce job. Also a UI is provided to submit the commands. Let us look at another component of Hadoop. Uzi is a scheduler available in Hadoop ecosystem. Few facts about Uzi. Uzi is a workflow scheduler system to manage Apache Hadoop jobs. Uzi workflow jobs are directed acyclical graphs, 
DAGs, of actions. Uzi coordinator jobs are recurrent Uzi workflow jobs triggered by time, frequency, and data availability. Uzi is integrated with the rest of the Hadoop stack supporting several types of Hadoop jobs out of the box, such as Java MapReduce, Streaming MapReduce, Pick, Hive, Scoop and Dist, as well as system-specific jobs, such as Java programs and shell scripts. Uzi is a scalable, reliable and extensible system. Let us look at another component of Hadoop, Mahout. Mahout is a person who rides an elephant. In the world of Hadoop, Mahout is a collection of machine learning library. There are three specific machine learning tasks that Mahout currently implements. They also happen to be three areas that are quite commonly used in real applications. First one is collaborative filtering. Collaborative filtering is a technique, popularized by Amazon and others, that uses user information such as ratings, clicks, and purchases to provide recommendations to other site users. Collaborative filtering is often used to recommend consumer items such as books, music, and movies, but it is also used in other applications where multiple actors need to collaborate to narrow down data. Chances are you've already seen collaborative filtering in action on Amazon. Second is clustering, used to group together, or cluster, similar items automatically. For instance, given all of the news for the day from all of the newspapers in the United States, you might want to group all of the articles about the same story together automatically, you can then choose to focus on specific clusters and stories without needing to wade through a lot of unrelated ones. Third important category is categorization. The goal of categorization, often also called classification, is to label unseen documents, thus grouping them together. Many classification approaches in machine learning calculate a variety of statistics that associate the features of a document with the specified label, thus creating a model that can be used later to classify unseen documents. For example, a simple approach to classification might keep track of the words associated with a label, as well as the number of times those words are seen for a given label. Then, when a new document is classified, the words in the document are looked up in the model, probabilities are calculated, and the best result is output, usually along with a score indicating the confidence the result is correct. Let us look at another Hadoop ecosystem component. Zookeeper is very useful in maintaining distributed applications. As it acts like a coordinator and maintains the overall system stability. It offers services like Naming Configuration Synchronization Leader Election Message Notification Zookeeper provides a centralized infrastructure and services that enable synchronization across a cluster. Zookeeper provides an infrastructure for cross-node synchronization and can be used by applications to ensure that tasks across the cluster are serialized or synchronized. It does this by maintaining status type information in memory on Zookeeper servers. A Zookeeper server is a machine that keeps a copy of the state of the entire system and persists this information in local log files. A very large Hadoop cluster can be supported by multiple Zookeeper servers. Let us have little direction check. In the presentation, we have covered so far is various components of Hadoop ecosystem. At a high level we have covered HDFS MapReduce Hive Pig NoSQL Database HBase and Cassandra Scoop Uzi, Mahout, and Zookeeper. In the next section, we will be covering Relational Databases versus Hadoop Understanding Microsoft HD Inside Product
Before we start looking more into Hadoop and its various ecosystem components, let us have a small quiz to ensure we are on learning track. First question, what tools would you use to query structured data? And the answer is Hive, to query the structured data, it offers same SQL like commands for most common tasks. Second question, what tool can be used to schedule Hadoop jobs? The answer is Uzi, is a good choice for scheduling the Hadoop jobs. Let us have next question, where can we find machine learning libraries? And the right answer is Mahout, offers multiple ready-made libraries. Let us try one more question before we jump to next and final section of this introductory module one. Which component can help in maintaining large Hadoop cluster environment? The right answer is Zookeeper, it can help in configuration, naming and many other area to maintain large Hadoop setup. Sometimes we get confused over the role of Hadoop and traditional RDBMS. Hadoop is designed and developed keeping big data problem in mind. It is not a replacement of RDBMS. Both of them can coexist and could complement each other. Hadoop is a good fit for replacing the ETL if they are performing poorly. Hadoop is strong candidate for batch processing, while RDBMS are good for transactional processing. Let us explore the new entrant in the world of Hadoop, Microsoft HD Insight. Microsoft has been platinum sponsor for Apache Foundation. After the launch of official Apache Hadoop v1.0 in January 2012, Microsoft worked with Hortonworks and released HD Insight in March 2013. Hortonworks provides the interface between Hadoop and Microsoft. There are multiple advantage of using HD Insight. Most mid-tier companies look for support, in the open source getting support is little painful, on the other hand Microsoft can provide good support for its products. The HD Insight can help in getting quick analysis done, here are advantages of HD Insight. Familiar tools for data analysis and visualization on Hadoop. SQL Server expands into big data, move data between Hadoop and SQL Server with bidirectional Hadoop connectors for SQL Server 2012 and parallel data warehouse to enhance the data insight. There are few advantages in terms of maintenance and operability. Hadoop on Windows made easy, 16 node Hadoop cluster can be live, in only 10 minutes. Clean and easy management, Apache Ambari. The open source choice for management of a Hadoop cluster is integrated and extends Microsoft System Center. Secure, reliable, enterprise ready Hadoop, integration of Windows Server Active Directory. Finally HD Insight is developer friendly, you can do programming for MapReduce.in.net or Java. It is 100% Apache Hadoop compliant. This is how a HD Insight homepage UI looks like. Here you can see job history, documentation, play around with sample examples, monitor clusters etc. Here is view of create job UI. We have connector available to connect Excel to HDFS, to read data and perform our analysis in Excel. Thank you very much for watching the introduction of Big Data, Hadoop and Microsoft HD Insight. We are a small group of working professionals trying to make impact in big data landscape. Out of our hectic office hours, we devote weekend time in developing products and providing trainings. In 40 minutes of time, we try to give you an overview with most relevant information. We do have detailed courses available. Hope you have enjoyed and learned few new things about big data, Hadoop and HD Insight.